Okay, bro, I said the math question. Okay, let's go with the information. There is a quadratic equation uh, given over here. That is 57 times x squared positive, 57b positive a times x positive ab equals to zero. In the given equation, a and b are positive constants. The product of the solutions are to the given equation is k times ab, where k is a constant. What is the value of k? So the product of the solutions of the given equation is given that is k times ab. So whenever I solve a quadratic equation, I'll be getting two values for x, I mean two solutions. So because the degree, the largest exponent of the variable in a quadratic equation is two. So we'll have two solutions if we solve a quadratic equation. And the product of the solutions, or the multiplication of the solutions is given, that is k times ab, and we have to find the value of the constant k. Okay, now uh, the quadratic equation in our problem is in the form of uh, ax square positive bx uh, positive c equals to zero. Okay, so when we have a quadratic equation in this form, without solving the quadratic equation properly, uh, we'll be able to get uh, some of the two solutions and product of the two solutions. So because we have uh, formulas for that, okay, now let me write the formula for some of the two solutions and product of the two solutions. Here I have written uh, formulas for uh, some of the two solutions of this quadratic equation. That is negative b over a. So negative sign is uh, comes in the formula itself, and b here uh, refers to the coefficient of x, and by a refers to coefficient of x squared that I have written clearly over here. And uh, product of the two solutions equals to c over a. C is a constant term in the quadratic equation. So divided by uh, a, a refers to the coefficient of x squared. Anyways, in this problem, uh, so this one is not required, some of the two solutions, because uh, we have information about only the product of the two solutions. Anyways, I have given it, uh, it may, this formula may be useful to solve some of the questions in SAT. Okay, now uh, let's go to our problem. So product of the two solutions, uh, this is given in the question itself. So what is it? It's kab. So we can uh, replace this phrase by k times uh, ab and equals to C. C is nothing but the constant term in the quadratic equation. So what is the constant term in our quadratic equation? That is AB. So let's write AB over here. And uh, it has to be written by the A. A means it's a coefficient of x squared. What is the coefficient of x squared in our equation? It's 57. So we have to write 57 in denominator over here. Okay, now my aim is to get the value of uh, k. So for that, I have to get the AB, which is multiplied by k. So for that, I multiply both sides by 1 over AB. Let me finish writing. So this AB, AB will cancel out. Here AB, AB will cancel out. On the left side, we have one times K is K. On the right side, uh, we have, uh, so AB goes into AB one times, and we have one times one is uh, one, and uh, 57 in denominator. That is uh, here we have one times. That is one times, uh, AB goes into AB one times. 57 times one is uh, 57. So now I got the value of K. So the value of K is one over 57, and we find one over 57 in option A. So the correct answer choice for this question is option A.